okay so we'll discuss first about biotransformation what is biotransformation so biotransformation is just chemical alteration of the drug in the body why why we are doing biotransformation so it is needed to render non-polar compounds polar okay we are converting non-polar compounds into polar compounds by biotransformation so we are converting non-polar compounds to polar compounds so that they are not reabsorbed in the renal tubules and are excreted for this purpose we are doing biotransformation biotransformation is nothing it is just chemical alteration in the drug in our body clear now primary site for drug metabolism is liver when you will ask about the primary site for the metabolism that is answer will be liver but along with liver other organs are also doing biotransformation the first one is your kidney intestine surmount is lungs and plasma okay these are the reasons where biotransformation also talks, takes place but the primary site for the drug metabolism is liver clear now biotransformation of drugs may lead to three things the first is your inactivation okay so most drugs and their active metabolites are converted into inactive or less active by method of biotransformation clear one example such as paracetamol okay lidocaine chloramphenicol propranolol it is converted in, in in its inactive form by biotransformation the second that is the formation of active metabolite okay from an active drug we are forming an active metabolite from active drug most many drugs have been found to be partially converted to one or more active metabolite clear the effects observed the effects due to that drug is observed are the sum of the actions of active metabolite plus active drug clear one example i am going to give you here is uh, morphine morphine is your active drug and its active metabolite is morphine 6 glucuronide morphine and its active metabolite is morphine 6 glucuronide clear you can also take example of yellow purinol its active metabolite is yellow xanthine clear so these are the two common example of the conversion of active drug into its active metabolite clear now the third is your activation of inactive drug suppose any inactive drug is there okay and that inactive drug is converted into active drug by your biotransformation method clear now example of this is simple that is levodopa okay example of this is levodopa this levodopa is converted into its active form the active form is dopamine sorry the active form is dopamine okay so conversion of levodopa into dopamine so this is conversion of this is activation of an inactive drug you can also take example of inalaprine okay it is converted into inalaprilate or alpha methyl dopa it is converted into alpha methyl norepinephrine okay proguanil it is converted into cyclic guanil so these are the common examples in which activation of inactive drugs occurs by the biotransformation reactions clear now biotransformation reaction is uh, classified into two you are knowing from the biochemistry classes that is the phase one reaction phase one reaction also called as functionalization reaction okay the name itself indicating functionalization reaction means the addition of functional group will be here so in non-synthetic or phase one or functionalization reaction a functional group is generated or exposed either of this whether the functional group can be generated or exposed clear and the metabolite after the first one reaction may be active or inactive both can be happen may be active and inactive clear now going for the next phase that is phase two or it is also known as conjugation phase clear so in this an endogenous radical is conjugated to the drug okay and the metabolite form after the phase two is mostly inactive is mostly inactive there are two exceptions okay few exception we are mentioning here two exception that is the first is glucuronide conjugate of morphine clear and the second one is your sulfate conjugate of minoxidil okay minoxidil so these are the two exceptions clear so an endogenous radical is conjugated to the drug metabolite is mostly inactive except few drugs example gluconide conjugation of morphine as well as sulfate conjugation of your minoxyl these are the active groups clearly now we are first we will first focus on your non synthetic reaction that is a phase one reaction clear so starting with the phase reaction phase one reaction the first reaction in phase one is oxidation okay in phase one we are focus on three o r h okay oxidation reduction and hydrolysis the first one is oxidation so in the, in the name itself indicating the oxidation will occur so in this reaction this reaction involves addition of oxygen radical or removal of hydrogen 
okay this is known as oxidation okay and oxidation are the most important drug metabolizing reaction okay it is the most important drug metabolizing reactions clear various oxidation reactions are hydroxylation okay oxygenation at carbon nitrogen sulfur atoms or in or dealkylization or oxidative deaminations these are the common reaction which we will find in oxidation reaction clear now this oxidative reactions are mostly carried by carried out by a group of a group of mono oxygenases okay a group of mono oxygenases in the liver oxidation reaction are mostly carried out by a group of mono oxygenases in the liver which in the final step i am going directly for the final step in the final step it require cytochrome p450 hemoprotein okay we will discuss the mechanism of cytochrome p450 in, in this video the next one is nadph okay then cytochrome p450 reductase and molecular oxygen this is the requirement of the oxidative reactions so you clearly look for a function okay cytochrome p450 has iron in the form of fe plus 3 this fe plus 3 is present in cytochrome p450 any drug such as i have shown rh okay it will form bonds with cytochrome p450 here i have shown in this state iron which is present in cytochrome p450 is in fe plus 3 state now cytochrome p450 reductase in reduced form will come and give its electron and itself get oxidized so it is cytochrome p450 reductase in oxidize and this electron will go to fe plus 3 and after taking this electron the fe plus 3 will be reduced to fe plus 2 okay so cytochrome p450 the iron present in cytochrome p450 is now in fe plus 2 state clear now this oxygen will come and this fe plus 2 will donate one electron to this oxygen so fe plus 2 will be converted into fe plus 3 and oxygen getting up one electron converted into o2 minus clear now again this enzyme cytochrome p450 reductase will come again they donates it one electron and converted into reduced form okay and after getting one electron this o2 minus will be converted into o2 minus 2 clear no problem in this okay now now what will happen then 2h plus will come and this we will provide 2h plus in the medium then this 2h plus will attract this o2 minus 2 okay the 2h plus will attract this o2 minus 2 and attract one oxygen mainly to form s2 uh, s2 production will be there and this o2 minus 2 clear so and this one oxygen one oxygen is going to s plus 2s plus and one oxygen will go here rh bond okay between rh bond and form roh clear so here you can see hydroxylation is occurring okay so i have shown that how a drug rh is converted into roh means hydroxylation how hydroxylation is done here means oxidation of a drug is happening through cytochrome p450 protein cytochrome p450 protein cytochrome p450 reductase enzyme and oxygen clear two oxygen is utilized here okay you are seeing two oxygen so molecular oxygen is utilized here you can see here okay so and and after this the fe plus 3 will be in the same form fe plus 3 p450 and f plus 3 cytochrome p450 again the cycle will be continued clear now we are discussing about oxidation so we have seen how cytochrome p450 protein nadpa cytochrome p450 reductase and molecular oxygen are involved in this okay now we will some we will also discuss some important points about CY, cyp iso enzymes okay there are more than 100 cytochrome p450 iso enzymes differing in their affinity for various substrate are found so we will mainly discuss about the commonest one clear so the first one is the most common is cytochrome 3a4 this this iso enzyme is the most common okay this is indicating about uh, this three the number is indicating about families okay family of the cytochrome this a is indicated about subfamily and individual iso enzymes are also given another number after its some family so cytochrome p3a4 this is the most important cytochrome p450 iso enzymes okay more than 50 percent drugs okay get bio transformed by this iso enzyme clear no problem here okay so now we will discuss some inducers and what the drugs it metabolized here okay so the drugs metabolized is one of the i, I will give some examples terfenadine okay uh, paracetamol i am writing pcm paracetamol or diazepam okay ritonavir one of the most common important drug that is verapamil okay this is the most important drug lidocaine so these are the common drugs which are metabolized by the this iso enzymes clear terfenadine pcm paracetamol diazepam ritonavir verapamil and lidocaine now there are some inhibitors for this cytochrome inhibitors are erythromycin okay we will discuss some inhibitors 
the first one is erythromycin the second one is your verapamil is also acting as inhibitor okay the drugs we have seen here verapamil is also metabolized by this and also inhibitor of these isoenzymes so this is important okay along with it ritonavir ritonavir is also an inhibitor of this isoenzyme clear grape ju grapefruit juices is also inhibitor of this isoenzymes now there are some inducers for this isoenzyme the inducers are phenytoin okay the inducers are carbamazepin okay carbamazepin phenytoin carbamazepin other inducers are rifampicin glucocorticoids so these are the common inducers for cytochrome p3 f4 clear no problem here now moving to the next the next one is your cytochrome p 2d6 okay this is responsible for the biotransformation of 20 percent drugs okay including your tricyclic antidepressant selective serotonin reuptaker reuptake inhibitors okay antiarrhythmic drugs codeine and like this oh, no problem now inhibition of this enzyme by quinidine quinidine is an inhibitor of this isoenzyme one important point here okay inhibition of this isoenzyme by quinidine results in the failure of conversion of codeine to morphine but it is according to morphine and analgesic effect of codeine is loss okay this isoenzyme is doing what it is converting very codeine to morphine okay codeine is converted into morphine and this morphine is responsible for analgesic effect so if this isoenzyme is inhibited by quinidine then codeine to morphine conversion is stopped and analgesic effect of codeine is lost clear no problem now we'll discuss some more inhibitors of these enzymes so these enzymes first inducers common inducers same as here i have told you in this case cytochrome p3a4 okay the inducers were phenobarbitones rifampicin again the inducers of this also include phenobarbitone and rifampicin no problem now the drugs which it, is, it metabolizes are nebulol okay uh, clozapine codeine this type of drugs is metabolized by this and inhibitors is one inhibitor is here quinidine the another inhibitor is your one or fluoxetine okay and the one more inhibitor is paroxetine i am writing here okay so the inhibitors are quinidine the inhibitor are fluoxetine and the another inhibitor is paroxetine okay so these are the common inhibitors for cytochrome p2d6 clear now so this is they are, they are the two important isoenzymes clear now we will move for the next part one important point i need to mention here okay i am mentioning here certain drugs like cimetidine ranitidine okay clozapine are oxidized at their nitrogen phosphorus or sulfur atoms by a group of flavin monooxygenase that are also located in hepatic endoplasmic reticulum but are distinct from cyp enzymes cytochrome p enzymes is different from this flavin monooxygenases okay so cimetidine ranitidine and clozapine are also oxidized but by a group of flavin monooxygenases that are also located on hepatic endoplasmic reticulum but are different from cyp enzyme and these enzymes which is involved in its metabolism are not susceptible to inducers or inhibition by other drugs clear no problem now some other drugs such as adrenaline alcohol and mercaptopurine okay so these are the drugs which are oxidized by mitochondrial or cytoplasmic enzymes clear so this this is all about your oxidation now next is your reduction the second reaction is your reduction ors so the second is your reduction so the reaction this reaction reduction is the converse of oxidation and it also involves cytochrome p450 enzymes working in the opposite directions clear the common drugs which are metabolized here which are metabolized by the reduction method are alcohol aldehydes quinones okay and the drugs primarily reduced are chloral chloral hydrate or chloramphenicol or you can tell halothane warfarin so these are the common drugs which are reduced that is chloral hydrate chloramphenicol halothane and warfarin clear okay now the next is one next one that is third reaction is hydrolysis hydrolase so hyd uh, sorry, hydrolysis okay process is hydrolysis the third one is your hydrolysis so this is the cleavage of drug molecule by taking up a molecule of water and the drugs commonly hydrolyzed are choline esters procan lidocaine procanamide aspirin okay these are the common drugs which are hydrolyzed okay amides and polyptides amides and polyptides are hydrolyzed by amidases and peptidases enzymes no problem so, now the next one 
these are the main ors is the main reactions in the phase one but some reactions are also the one is cyclization this is formation of ring structure from a straight chain compound example is seen in your pro guanyl okay pro guanyl is converted into cyclo guanyl pro guanyl is converted into cyclo guanyl clear yeah. there is another method that is decyclization this implies opening of the ring structure of the cyclic drug molecule such as barbiturates and phenytoin so this is all about phase 1 reaction and cytochrome p450 mechanism in next video we will discuss about phase 2 reaction in